Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, put that fucking tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> put it back in. Mm. Put it back in. Mm. <laughs> You're a children. You're a children. I'm you know a children. That? Yeah. I watched my, my uh, I was going to say my child, my sister's kid. I could just say my nephew. Yeah. Watched my nephew by myself for the first time the other day. How'd he do? Pretty good. He yeah. cried twice because once because... He... Ba- babies cry. It's going to happen. Yeah, well, I made him cry. Oh. Well, I didn't, uh, I had a hand in it. Okay. I did have a Walk hand Walk me in through it. it. Walk me through it. Well, he was like, you know, we're playing with toys. You know, I'm trying to like have some fun. Toy so Joe. I'm reading books to this motherfucker trying to get him smart for the future. What books were you reading? Um, there was one called First Words. That's cute. Where it's like there's cards and it's like, ooh, apple. And then there's a picture of an apple and then it kind of feels like an apple in like a I, certain spot. Those are cool for me. I, Yo, I by the those. way, baby's toys, very nice. I like very, them a lot. Very, very nice. Because they're all sensory. So it's all like, you know. Yeah, you know, like, like all like things that like <laughs> pop and like crunch, and they they feel nice. Yeah, and you can rub them. Uh, oh, no, that's no, not, that's not what they're doing with it. No, that's a different kind of rubbing. Um, I'm talking about pussy. Yeah, yeah, pussy, pussy, I'm talking pussy, <laughs> pussy. Yeah, I'm talking talk- about squirting. We're talking baby. You're talking pussy. <laughs> Back to the baby talk. Sorry, weird that we kind of. <laughs> That I mixed those in. Um, but no. So, yeah, there was a book like that. And then he just kept handing me books. And I'd only get, like, one page through them. And then he was like... Give me another book. Different yeah. Different book, you know. So he's he's an indecisive little guy. His brain is here, there, everywhere at the same time. Then I got a text message. So my phone lit up. That was the end of that. So he picks up the phone. And he's looking at it, like, whatever. And he likes to, like, just, like do this with it like you just put it down for some reason mm-hmm. so i went to try and take it out of his hands but he has like a fucking gorilla grip on this thing really I didn't realize so I was, I was trying to grab it and then he like pulled it from me and he smacks him smacks himself. him smell smell smacks him smell in his face he smacks the smell in his face he smacked himself in the face and then he started crying and then i was just like yo classic comedy you yeah, gotta oh. be mad at him like you, you don't be fucking yeah. mad at anyone else that's what happens that's what I said to him. That's what happens. That's a metaphor for life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're, they're gonna it's gonna beat you down. There are times where like Miles will be like, I don't know what it is with kids. I guess I was the same way, or maybe you were, I don't know, but like they won't sit in a chair. So like you'll put a chair and they'll be like Yeah, they wanna like stand up in it and like Yeah. And like they do everything. And there was one night at dinner where I was like, Miles, butt in the seat. Butt in the seat. Butt in the seat. Butt in the seat. That's the that's the rule. That's the rule. Butt in the seat at the dinner table. And he fell and like took the chair with him. Fire. You know what I mean? Like like one of these, like he falls chair on top of him. Love that. And and he like he was like he like tested the waters to see like if we were gonna be like oh, oh, oh. and I was like, that's what I, I told you. Yeah. You know? I, oh, I love doing that. I love it I told you so do to you a guys, child. Do you guys heine in the house? Do you heine? What is that? Like calling butts heinies. Oh no. Like my mom was a bit she used to heine like well, your crazy mom, dude. Your mom was Heine, uh oh, duty dose or whatever that she would call you guys when you'd poop. No, uh, uh oh, diarrhea, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. That's it. That's uh, what it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, you gotta wipe your Heine if you got cha cha cha. Uh, oh. Otherwise, it's gonna get stingy bingies. I made that last part. Uh, I was gonna say. I hope so. Yeah, no. That that would be the cooler part of it though, because like stingy bingies, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds like a Legends of the Hidden Temple team. It does. Absolutely does. It's got the purple <laughs> barracudas and the uh, stingy bingies. Blue barracudas, Joey. This is why we didn't get on the show. Purple monkeys. Purple parrots, fucking shit. red monkeys, blue barracudas. Got it. Uh, but um, no, be- I mean we're we're pretty like call it as we see it in butts, our house. Butts. So like big- butts, peepees. Well, peepee, peepee. Yes, we don't tell Miles like we don't say his nuts or his balls. We call him Newtons. Newtons, like Newtons. fig Newtons, like fig Newtons, like Isaac Newton. Yeah. You know, the apple falls far, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. We didn't coin that. I think his dad coined that. And we Newtons. just like, accept, like, he'll be, we'll be like, all right, Miles, go take a shower. You gotta, you gotta clean your butt and your Newtons. Really? Yeah. That, I've never heard that before. I, we made it up. But like. Clean your Newtons. I mean, like, we like talk to Ruby and like baby talk, but not like. She doesn't know what the We won't be like, you're honey, honey, honey. Like I say, I'll be like, yo, you got a big butt girl. You're Big Butt Girl. Really? That's what I call her. Oh, you call her Big Butt Girl? Big Butt Girl, Big Time. Big uh, Time? Yeah, I don't know where that one came. I just started calling her Big what Time. What is she, Ray Lewis? Big Time? <laughs> Showtime? I guess so. Prime Time, Deion Sanders. Like, I'll walk, home and I'll, I'll walk in and I'll be like, my Big Time Girl. 
That's who she is. She's a big time. She girl. is my big time baby. Yeah. Uh, but um, all right. So good. What was the other time that he cried? He hit him. He smacked himself in the face like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shannon. Um, I think that he just was like, just fed up. Like at a certain point, he was like, "Bro, my mom hasn't been here for a while." Yeah. yeah and he calls her M. M. Really? Yeah. Oh, and I'm that's just like, so nah. cute. And this dude loves hats for some reason. Okay. So if I'm wearing a hat, so like that's like my go-to. Well, what it was my go-to during that time where he started crying. I'd be like, bro, hat. And he'd be like, hat. Aww. And he'll try to grab it. <laughs> like, he loves it. That's fucking so cute. He loves pulling it off of my head and then bro, just giving it to me. I don't know if you can see. I mean, I don't know if you could really tell or Yo, see. Babies? Strong as shit. Pretty strong for fucking babies. Ruby's been getting in trouble lately. But, like, baby trouble. Like, not serious trouble. We're like, her thing is, like, she just goes like this on things now. So if I hold her like this, she fucking does that to the back of my arm. Oh, dude. Dude, yeah. And I'm like, I tell her, I'm like, stop. And she like looks at me and like, she'll either look at me and smile or just like, yeah. She like l- laughed at Becca today. because Becca, the big time look. It's a big time look. Exactly. Big time, big time look from a big time girl. I, I, I want to make sure we get away from this idea that like, if a baby's crying, like you've done something wrong. Babies cry because that's the only way they know how to express themselves. Well, I also think that they know that like, it equals like getting picked a up. Response. Or, you know, yeah. yeah. That's the only, like they, in their brain, they're like. I am going to get a response if I cry. Yeah. Because, like, if a baby cries, everyone's just like, shh, 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 shh. I, know, I also just... Well, we don't cover her mouth. When, but... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. When, 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 uh, when Mikey cries, I'll just go, nah. Really? I was like, you're faking it. And then he's just... Really? Yeah, he just smiles. Oh, like, he's a fucking... Ruby's not there yet. Like, I, I'll, yeah, I know. He's I'll, like, older. as she, like, gets... Like, as she, like, the wind-up, we call it, where she, like, starts to cry, where she'll be like... It's the fucking saddest thing in the world. But I'll be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't you dare, yeah. big timer. Big t- <laughs> That's what I said. Big time liar. You're big time liar, big time baby, big time girl. Yeah. You know, anything she does is big time. But good for you. Does this make you want a kid now? Relax. Well, I just, I don't know. I, mean, I figured I'd ask. Well, it's not that I don't want kids. I just don't want a kid right now. What What's, like, holding you back? Pat, the idea of having You just kid. don't know if you could be. Yeah, I get it. I will the say this. The responsibility. I will say this. What's holding you back from having a kid? Yeah, I don't know. I, the whole thing? I don't know. <laughs> Everything involved? I I have to say, I I am so in love with my two children. Like, beyond. I'm going to stop you there. Guys, this is setting up for something electric. <laughs> Go ahead. But! <laughs> big time but! Big time up. Big time up. Um, big time up. Big time up, baby girl. That's what she is. Yeah. Um, I, like, I... In, like I will tell people uh-huh. one thing, and if like this will be like what choose like if this is the thing that like breaks the camel's back, you know the straw that breaks the camel's back, it would make sense. Mm-hmm. I I will never sleep the same ever again. Yeah. Period. Yeah. No matter how old they get, like I like you need to understand having kids. It's fucking incredibly beautiful, rewarding, fun. But but it's not <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. But like, you think about it, like, your last night of sleep, you'll never get, like, you'll always worry about, like, where are they? What are they doing? Who are they with? Yeah. Are they doing, you know what I mean? You know, it's actually funny, like, again, not comparing the two, but when I first got Charlie, oh, like, you, you know, like, it, it was- I mean, like, I don't have a baby, but I have a dog. No, 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 I know. <laughs> but like, when I first got him, there was so many things that had to change about, like, my day or whatever. It definitely, like, slept differently, because I was like- I, if I can hear him, he's choking and about to die. Yeah. And if I can't hear him, it's because he's, he's dead. already dead. Yeah. yeah. So like that, I didn't sleep. And then the day that my sister was like leaving him, she was like, oh, I got to go pick up my car like at VW because it was like getting like service or something. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll watch him if you want. And she's like, yeah, sure. So before she left the house, she was just like picking up certain things, like blocking everything. And I'm like, this is exactly what I would do when I would have to leave the house and leave Charlie by himself. I'm like, all yeah. right, we got to dog proof this. You know, yeah, like but like so a dog, funny. a dog. I mean, obviously there's a difference, and I know you know that. But like a dog, like if they get into it, you're like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. all right. if I found my child chewing on, you know, Paper. a sock, <laughs> I'd be like, all right, this is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm, I, I have to say, like, that's why you got to put kids in cages when you leave the house. I honestly like wouldn't be against it. <laughs> like, what's wrong with a kid in a cage, realistically? Uh, I, geez, <laughs> got him. <laughs> what's wrong with kids in cages at the border? Honestly, well, well, right, well, yeah, Frank? Well, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> You're not allowed to make that joke, Joey. <laughs> You're way too white and upper class. Uh, uh, but God, that is funny. No, I, I, I obviously don't think any people should oh, be in we're, cages. We're joking. We're having a good everyone, time. Well, everyone's, you know, they need to know. A squeezy this. But... Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be against it. Uh, let's call it a playpen. Well, that's, that's, exactly, that's pretty much what we call it. I, we, my, my mom in her house has a playpen for the baby. That's what it is. I actually said to Shannon, I was like, what if I got to take a dump? Like, am I going to have to hold him while shitting? I feel bad for this guy. Yeah. I take poops. You, you, you and she's like, just put him in the playpen. I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> just leave him in the cage, basically, is what she said. Yeah. Tie him up. She's like, he's going to cry, but, you know. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I have, like, there have been ways where, like, my, like, she'll be, like, uh, in her, like, little pillow thing, like, laying down and, like, taking the bottle. And I'll, like, put a pill, like, I'll, like, m- make this, like, contraption so the bottle just kind of stays at an angle where she can drink it. Yeah. So I can, like, run to the bathroom real quick or, like, get something from the kitchen. Yeah. Kids. It's kids. What kids. do you do? What do you do? I'm basically half a dad now. I watched a kid for 45 minutes. You can do it. That's what I do. You can absolutely do it. Um. So, yeah, anyway, there's a there's a big story going around right now. Mm. Uh, and it's about the vaccine. The, oh, oh the, I don't know if we could say it. The YouTube. Fauci ouchie. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Nicki Minaj tweeted this thing. I've heard about this. About the. <laughs> Which, hold on. Let's start there. Yeah. I don't think Nicki Minaj, female rapper, Mm -hmm. a lot of people. One of the greatest. You know, I I guess. I don't know. I I, I don't think I'm the one to to judge that. Mm -hmm. Um, Not known for her contributions to the political realm, I guess. Well, I don't know that this is. Or science realm. I don't know that it's like political, but it was, it was just, it was just funny. Mm. Also, you better watch your fucking step because the barbs will eat your fucking asshole from the inside out. What's a barb? It's uh, the Barbies. Her, her Oh, is that fans. like the beehive? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about them. Bro, the beehive came for me multiple times. Really? Ruined my shit. Well, they didn't, obviously. Actually, one of them actually, uh, they complimented me without even realizing. What would they say? So one time I tweeted this thing about Beyonce, and I was just kind of like, I, I haven't really liked a Beyonce song since like Love on Top. That song's a fucking yeah, banger. Like, my, you got my name on top. Hey, that shit is fire. So that song, and then like I wasn't really big on the whole uh, whatever album was like Formation, Lemonade, or Lemonade or whatever the fuck. Like I wasn't like crazy about it. Love on Top though, really good. Um, but anyway. So I tweeted that, and bro, I don't know how, but the Beehive got like, or the Bayhive. What do they call it? Bayhive? Beehive? I don't know, something like that. But like, they got wind of it, and that was the end of me. Well, people were tweeting. You don't me, know like, how? You have millions of people that watch your shit, Joey. What do you mean you don't know how? Of course. Uh, I don't think that me and Beyonce have an overlap of like viewers, Frank. I think that you are a popular internet polit- p- person, you know, personality is the term I was looking for. Anything you tweet, someone will catch wind of. Well, whatever. So they got a hold of it and they ran with it. And then people were like, you're just, fu- you're fucking irrelevant. Who is this? this guy's a joke. And then just started flaming me. And then one person's like, you're just jealous because you're worth like one twentieth of what she was worth. And I, I was like, wish. Bro! God, I wish. I was like, you think I got $20 million? <laughs> I fucking wish. I was like, damn. Oh, I was man. like, 20 mil? Take that. Yo, I immediately Googled. I was like, what's her net worth? What is her net worth? She's got to be more than Jay-Z, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I hope so. No, no, no. Not more than Jay-Z. Not now. But like off of music. Beyonce net worth. <sighs> Beyonce net worth. 400. 200. 204. Dude. That's just a little bit. To, what's, what's a 20th of that? Oh, I don't know. 10.4? I'll take that too. <laughs> Jay-Z's 1.4 billion. So there's a little discrepancy in money there. Why that? is he worth... Why, what does he have? Mad shit, bro. He had Ace of Spades that he sold. Ace of Spades! He had... Um, he had Motorhead. Different, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he, did not, he, did, he did not make that song. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, but he sold that for like 300 million or something. His stake in that. He had title. I think he sold the shares in that too. He just like Ace of Spades was the 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 champagne. champagne. Yeah, hmm. super pops. Eh. Have you had it? I have. Is it good? It's champagne. <laughs> Things that are like really expensive, you'll never have. You have to like cr- like sort of convince yourself that it's worth it. There's no way it is. Yeah. But it's like it's the same thing with diamonds, though. It's like it's a rock. It's a it's a shiny rock. You know, and I'm paying thousands of dollars for this. There's thing. nothing like that. I'm going to be able to tell in my fucking you know expertise where I'll be able to tell the difference. You could tell more of a difference in like 
t-shirts you know what i'm saying like with champagne it's a lot harder for me to realize or like even with wine like an expensive wine versus a non-expensive wine there's been times to do blind taste tests for fun and be like oh this bottle is ten dollars and i liked it the most mm. rather than these other ones i don't have a fucking palate i'm sure there's fucking someone out there going crazy right now yeah like, i recently how could you not feel the earthy oak shut yeah. up <laughs> I recently, because I, you know, you know how I am with my tea. I've been watching a lot of, you know, reading into and researching a lot of tea, and there's teas that are worth like for like a, a, an ounce, like thousands of dollars. And it's like I don't think I have the knowledge to be able to taste that and be like, yeah. wow. Yeah. So the champagne, it, it's good. It's you know, actually, the only thing that I can really tell the difference is in is like, uh, whiskey. Like, I can tell the difference in certain whiskeys. I can tell in whiskey, uh, tequila, and um, vodka. Vodka? I wouldn't be able to pick anything out of anything. No, yes, you would. If I got you Georgie vodka, and then I got you Grey Goose, you would definitely be able to tell the difference, Joey. Yes, that's like... All right, but Georgie is like... Grey Goose and a different vodka? No way. That isn't Georgie. No, 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 no. I know. I'm not... I'm, but I'm saying, like, between, like, high-end, low-end vodka, you definitely would be able to. Champagne? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, champagne is all, like... Mwah. I like champagne. I love champagne. I love champagne, too. I love it. All right, back to Nikki. Nikki Minaj, yeah. So she tweeted this thing, and it's just kind of interesting, you know, about the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> really quick, do your best Nicki Minaj impression. No, you do it. No, you do it. I don't have her Nicki Minaj impression. I'm not good at impressions, bro. You can do it. No. <laughs> That's like the old school Nicki Minaj there. Is know. that, like, not the new one? I don't really know. I haven't seen her lately. She just gave birth, didn't she? Yeah, to a to a baby. Good. Well, that's how that works. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> she tweeted, uh, "My cousin in Trinidad won't get the because <laughs> his friend got it and became impotent. Mm. Uh, his his testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision. Not bullied. Huh. I'll say this. We're not going to talk about." We're not going to politicize this. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, obviously, like, don't be bullied. Good idea. Good, in any sort of good capacity. idea. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I don't, I'm not going to force my views on the vaccine on anybody. Uh, I'm more focused on the balls. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> you know, I, I could say, I'll say this. If the vaccine, made your balls fatter i mean what kind of fat though i don't want fat nuts as much as i want just like long just fatter nuts. balls i want longer nuts you want long where well, you have short balls they are very close to the base i will say that so they're all tucked up so it's very neat down they're there they're like a peach they're like a oh they're angry they're, they're, they're like this peach. the hair on it's like yeah. this or it's like a, it's like this the hair the hair the yeah. hair the skin on it's like yeah. this yeah they're like Clint Eastwood yeah well that's Robert De Niro uh yeah that's Robert De Niro You're right no uh, but also I have a question about this like her cousin Trinidad won't get it because his friend got it and then the, the so I'm very confused by this the friend got the vaccine their balls became swollen and because of that. His fiance was like, I can't do this. <laughs> there were other issues. How there. bad are these balls? Well, I'm more concerned about, and we'll get to that, but like, I'm more concerned about like, this is the classic, like, yo, my cousin's friend from school works at Nintendo and told us that Super Smash Brothers 12 is coming out and I'm getting an advanced copy. You know, like, it's that fucking classic, like, what the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm just saying, like, it's that classic, like, oh, my cousin's. Uh, from another country's oh, friend is like a, dating a girl who's best friends with Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, yeah. You're like, th th that's the first fucking red flag. Like, if anyone starts a story like that, I'm not saying that this didn't happen to this person, but... Oh, I, I think I'm saying that. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> I'm like, saying that. You're laying that down right there? I, I think so. I think, like... Um, I, yeah, I don't think that you get the vaccine and then your balls swell up. All I'm saying is that if this did happen, better way to convey this message. You can't be like, my cousin's friend from another country told me this. It's like, that, you already lost me. It's like two degrees of separation max. I mean, forget about that. I, like, forget about, like, if this is true or not. Like, I don't even, like, really care. I more so care about why this woman called off the wedding. 
Like, yo, your balls are too big to marry. Your balls are, yo, your cock doesn't work. I mean, I guess, I guess I get the cock doesn't work thing. Like, if you're impotent. Well, no, impotent means you can still have kids, right? No, I think that that's exactly what it means. You no, I think infertile means you can't have children. Impotent means, like, you have, like, ED. I think impotence just means, like, your cock doesn't work perfectly anymore. Impotent. Lacking the power or ability to change. Oh, well, I guess. No, you put importance. I did put importance. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, yeah, it, is, it is ED. So, like, his dick, you know, pop a, pop a blue chew in his mouth. My guy is, you know, discreet shipping. I don't got to know a damn thing. I mean, yeah, I guess so. That's what I'm saying. There, there were bigger issues here. This girl was looking for a way out. She's like, oh, your dick is, like, not working when I need it to now? Okay, I have no other choice. His, he's got swollen balls. That's a, that's a tough way to leave someone, yo. My balls are getting fatter, my dick's getting limper, and you're going to leave me? Right now? Right now. Like, <laughs> we're having to through thick and thin. We're about to just do vows, baby. Shit, it, thick and thin, yeah. not swollen and fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, it's just kind of crazy that, like, literally, like, blue balls make your nuts fat and do hurt. Do they? Do they? I've, I've only I can had- tell you my experience with blue balls made them fat and hurt. Really? I've only had it once. I've had it a couple times. Not fun. Yeah, it's not sick. It sucks. Yeah. But this guy now just has like more blue balls. Like what if it what if it was just like he just had a build up but just 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 come. And then she, she was like figure it out. I'm not marrying you. I mean, you could you could spank the monkey. What's it? Shake, spank spank shake, the monkey. Oh, I thought it was like shake the I think it's choke the chicken or spank the monkey. But there's also like a like there's like a Shake the dragon. Some word of dragon. Uh, I've never heard of the dragon. Fight the dragon. Chase the dragon. That would be. Oh no, that's like that's heroin. drugs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My bad. <laughs> Chasing the magic dragon. That's the. That's drugs. That's heroin. Yeah. That's drugs. I always get those mixed up. Drugs and masturbation. You get jerking off and doing drugs mixed <laughs> Love up. All the expressions. Fuck. Uh, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I smoke the pipe. So just prey on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bullied. I agree with that part. Yeah. Go ahead. Make sure you're comfortable with your decision. Here's one thing I will say that's kind of funny, right? I love when people say like, you know, I'm I'll get the vaccine when I've done enough research. Oh, I'm just like you said the word. Yo. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um, with like when I've done enough research, and you're just like, are you like diving into scientific literature nope. like every night? No. Like what's the research? That's the thing. Is like no one. Uh, ourselves included really have i mean actually not necessarily ourselves included because i i did get a degree in understanding data here we go uh we don't like the normal person should not need a fucking master's degree in order to understand simple information i just don't like I, well forget let about me, that let me do it you know what i mean like there's always that one family that has that one person like i'll figure it out and it's like oh okay <laughs> well it's, it's just like yeah yeah i don't know it's just funny when people are talking about like research and I'm like, what research are you like? Are you in the library? Like burning the midnight oil in there? Like, They're using that fucking thing where they go through the newspaper clippings from like fucking like a hundred years ago. A thimble? No. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Wait. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do. I you do. Know, I do. Uh, no, there, there is something seriously funny though. And it was like, he was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. She was like. Hold on. Your balls are way too fat. You got fat nuts? I'm out. I was in here when you have normal nuts. Now you have fat nuts. I'm done. I mean, I get it, I guess, to an extent. Like, you know, each person has, like, a thing. And, like, if someone goes and, like... Like, what if you met this girl and she was just like, Listen, I really... Like, if, like, if Becca tomorrow were to, like, just, like, douse herself in mustard, I'd be like, yeah, we're, we're done. I have to leave you now. <laughs> but, like... With her thing when they dated, like, listen, I'm fucking so into you. I will marry you. I just need you to just no fat nuts. <laughs> just keep your nuts where they are. We also don't know if that was a condition that she kind of put on the entire thing before they really got serious. She could have been like, listen, I have a thing about fat balls. And if you get them, I got to get out of here. Is it like P- is it like fat nuts just giving her like PTSD? Like she was accidentally humped by a dog once. It just had just fucking big old knockers. Yo, why do... But, but, yo... Some dogs. The other day I saw Bro, a dog. Dogs have big nuts. Dude, pit bulls have balls on them. Bro, you, you remember? I'm walking around. I'm like, yo, doesn't it hurt? I don't Those know if they were bouncing. real. It might have been fake. You remember Van Wilder, that fucking bulldog? Yeah. Dude, why do these fat dogs 
have the fattest balls. I was I was walking behind this dog and I'm like, I don't even want to see that. Like I feel like it's too much. You got to put a bra on these things. Yeah, I don't want a bra on those balls. I don't want to see these. Nu- put something, something like that's a, that's too much nut. Put a thong on the dog. I don't want to see animal like reproductive organs, but if they're there, I have to stare at them. So if your dog is walking with his balls out, I have to look at nothing else but his balls. You know how hard it is to ignore a pair of balls, even in the even in the human. Bro, you know, you, anyone here that has a cat, you've stared at an asshole more than anyone ever. Yeah, dude, those are weird. Bro, cat, they, they're like bullseyes. They they they're bullseyes, and like you can like look in them, and you're like, yo, I can see in this cat. Yeah, it's like a kaleidoscope. It's like those like frogs that are like you could see their organs and stuff like that. You know, like they're like transparent. Like salamanders or something? They're, they have those. Like, they're like transparent. It's like, you know, they if have- you're walking by like a house of glass windows, like you're going to look in. Yeah, I'm going to see you. Like what kind of setup you got in the kitchen. Exactly. I want to see if you have your asshole out, I'm going to be staring at it for a long time. It's also very hard for me as much as I don't enjoy it. When I'm at the gym, if there's a man in the locker room who's naked, I'm All like. All eyes on him. Well, I got to see these fucking cocks and balls. I try to play it off though. Like I'm not like. Like being like I'm looking like at it like a homoerotic eyes. way. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh god, I gotta see this cock though. I'll just be like, if like the clock is over there and he's naked over there, I'll just be like, what time is it? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and then look back. Hey, yeah. You have to. I don't know why. We're a curious why, race. Why do I have to see dicks? I I think like why do I gotta look at a dick? Like if there's a dick out, I'm like, oh ew, man. Ball. I'm I'm. <laughs> That's what I do. I go stop, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, God. What the hell. <laughs> Yo, pull your dick out in front of your friends I think it's, and see if they don't look at it. I mean, they're, they're going to go, yo, what the fuck, dude? Dude, that's what they do. They check. They'd be like, yo, put your dick. I can still see it. Put your dick yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. And you're, But why? Why? I think it was like do so ingrained. Do we want to see where we stand? I think it was so ingrained. We're a curious species. Do we? Is it because we want to know if we have a bigger penis than they do? I don't think it's about bigger. I think it's just like... You know, it's, it's a, there. It's the same thing. Like if there's a mystery. A, if there's a bowl of M and M's, I'm not only gonna eat it. I'm gonna stick my fucking whole hand in it. Okay, we're on different pages. No, we're not. If there's a like, if there's dick and balls, like we don't want to see it, but like it's like we have to. Okay. You know? Yeah, I don't like. I don't enjoy it, but I definitely like can't help myself. <laughs> you have to. Got to see it. Yeah. I actually had a gay dream last night. An ancestral gay dream. Uh, Keith. No, my cousin Mike. Huh, okay. So Pete's brother. Keith's uh, a lot hotter than Keith, I'll say that. Uh, Pete's... P- P- Smokey Pete's brother. Yes, his brother. I, we, there wasn't like a gayness. Like you weren't fucking. No, no, no. But apparently in the dream, we had just had sex or something. And then we were at a family party and he like wanted to tell everyone. Oh. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> And he was like telling like kids who I've never met these kids that's before. A, that's probably going to get him on no, a registry. No, like younger kids. That's going to definitely get him on a registry. I meant like younger cousins is what I meant. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just being, not that makes it any better, but just being like, no, yeah, we did this. And I was like, dude, why are you telling people this? Very confusing. Haven't told him yet. Probably won't, but I'll tell Pete. He'll find out now. I yeah. mean, well, Pete doesn't watch this. Well, neither does Mike. Yeah, So we're not. pretty much fine. Yeah, we're all right. I'm pretty sure one of my aunts watches this though. So oh, really? Like, yeah. So she'll, you know, Christmas will be a little weird. Well, it's all right. Actually, Thanksgiving, but it's okay. There's football on. I think, like, it's okay to have a gay dream as long as you're not, like, waking up horny. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I didn't wake up like, yo, I need to see my... Like, I talked about this, like, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> like, you and I, like, I had a gay dream that we, like, we were going to announce to the world that we were gay. Right. Kind of similar. Okay. And we were, like, I wasn't dreaming of us having, you know, hooking up. Yeah. But afterward, I woke up and I was like, wow, I was gay. And then I went back to sleep. I didn't wake up like, I need to talk to him. Yeah. You know, like, I need to work some things out. She's like, Becca, we need to have a, a, a chat. No. Yeah, no, I didn't. You know? I did not have one of those. Thank God. Because, you know, couldn't do it, Frank. Sorry. Yeah, well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. By the way, I took the liberty of, since we're on the topic of fat balls... Looking up the heaviest balls ever recorded. Oh, let's see them. Do you want to give a guess? Heaviest balls ever. Everyone out there. Well, it's probably in England. Write a comment guess. It's probably in England, so it's like kilograms or something. No, no, no. I, I converted to pounds. Oh, okay. Um, I'll say like f- four pounds. Did you see the answer? No. Fuck. Okay, good. Um, well, it's not four pounds. Okay. It's a little higher than four pounds. Okay. Four pounds... 
I'm thinking four pounds is a lot, so I'll say like six and a half. 132 pounds. Stop, dude. Yeah. Stop. 132 pounds. Pull him up now. Guy had. You've never seen this video? No. How would I have seen a video of the fattest balls ever? Because life. I don't know. It's on YouTube. This sounds like this would be on like a sec a porn website. Stop. <laughs> Yo. Oh, boy. Bro, those are fat balls. That's a ball. Oh, I love no. how they hired this guy who usually talks about cheetahs to talk about this <laughs> guy's balls. He's got a... He's got a... Okay, wait. Is he going to eat a meal off of his balls right now? I mean, I would. If I had fat balls like that, that's a table. That's a fucking... Is he eating Salisbury steak and rice peel off off of his balls? Josh, don't put this in the video because we probably can't. Yeah. Uh, but there's a video of a guy with the fattest balls, and then he puts like a tablecloth over his balls and eats a meal off of it. Like you, rice peel oh, off. Oh, you mean like edit this out or like don't put the video video? No, just right? don't put the video. I mean, describing the Gotcha. Video. I don't think you're recording. I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, don't put that in. Yeah. Those were, those were some fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, so 130 pounds. That's 32. That's really uncomfortable. Like, I think of, like, how, like, like sensitive my balls are. And if, like, I was living with them just, like, hanging from, like, I guess I am. But, like, where, like, they can scrape against the floor. That's got to be the worst. It's like having gigantic fat boobs. Bro, you could ruin this guy's fucking year. Just, just flick him in the nuts. I don't think you would even feel it. I think more so it's just, like, pulling his whole body. I out. would assume that the bigger they are, the more sensitive they are. That's got to be how that works. I don't think so. Eh, I don't know. That, oh, my God. You know, a cer I think it's, like, what's the, what's the, oh, I think we've. You know, like, 4% of women can orgasm just from nipple play? Good for them. Only 4%, though. I mean, that's 4 out of 100. Mm-hmm. That's, you, you, you just be like this, like, just. Ah! Oof. Eventually, you know. I mean, I get. Hey, everyone's got a thing that gets them there. There are people that orgasm off of fucking fingering like soffits in a roller coaster and shit like that. What's a soffit? Uh, it's a word. I know I it's like a know building. That. It's like a building term. A soffit? Yeah, I believe you. You should. Okay. You have no reason to think I'm lying. I thought a soffit before you were gonna say roller coaster was like something on the body. I'm maybe maybe there's like a body term for a soffit, but. Uh, People can people can come from anything. Do you? I I know we've talked about this a little bit, but like, right now, if you just sat, close your eyes, can you make yourself come? No way. Me neither. I can definitely get myself like hard. I mean, maybe, but like, no, yes. I I, I I need like, you know, it's hot in here, Joe. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. You need what? Touching? Yeah. Physical touch? I would need physical touch. None of this like, oh my fucking shit. If someone was like talking to you. Yeah. Like, I'm going to fucking just ruin that dick. Cool. It won't get hard? I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. Bro, it doesn't take much for me to just be like, I'm at ease. <laughs> at ease, soldier. Oh, okay. huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Sir? You know, it's like when a when a sergeant walks into a room. What? Oh, huh? yeah. Line up, <laughs> everyone. Line up. That's all. That's all I need. That's all you need. Yeah. Man, that that's got to be good for you. You just got a good old. You're not. You're you clearly. What happened to Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend from Trinidad didn't help happen to you. Yeah, he probably got a different sort of vaccine. You said it again. Fuck. <laughs> God, YouTube's gonna be like, what? They're gonna put like. Fact checker yeah. stuff on me. There's, exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get to the sponsors for oh, today's yeah, show. These are, these are good friends. Good old friends of the show. Uh, Liquid IV. Liquid IV. I've been crushing it. I actually just, I have too, actually. I hit them up and I was like, guys, need a, uh, another care package. And guess what? New flavors, you bitch. And they're so good. These are probably even better than the original ones. There's strawberry. There's watermelon. There's... Pina Colada. I actually haven't tried the Pina Colada one. I'm not going to lie to you people. Haven't tried it. The strawberry and watermelon, though? Oh, my God. It's so good. 
Um, and there's the immune support one, which is like tangerine flavored, I think. Oh yeah, it is tangerine. Tangerine flavored, amazing. Uh, it has like a bunch of zinc in it or whatever the hell. I don't know. It's something that keeps you uh, healthy. Um, but liquid IV, little packets that you uh, open up, pour it into a glass of water, hydrates you. Um, like I said, they also have the immune, immune support one. Uh, there's the energy booster ones, which Frankie, I know, is a big fan of those. Um, Give them to me. Right. So they contain five, five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and just as much potassium as a banana. Uh, so it's really good for you. Also, they use CTT, cellular transport technology, which delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream quicker than water would on its own. Uh, so yeah, they're great. And also they're on a mission to change the world. They're donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Uh, and has donated over 11 million servings globally. Uh, also available at Walmart um, if you want to grab that, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the promo code BASEMENT. All right, that is one fourth for you non mathematicians out there uh, of your cart. Egg gone and safe. All right, so go check out Liquid IV. Like I said, bro. Lemon lime, banging. Strawberry, banging. Watermelon, ha banging. Passion fruit, still good. Guava, never had. Pina colada, I'm actually gonna try as soon as I leave here because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but I imagine it's good because I, <laughs> I love a pina colada. And the immune support tangerine one is fire as well. Uh, so go check them out. Liquidiv.com, use the promo code BASEMENT, 25% off, don't be dumb. Hydrate yourselves. Uh, and lastly here, we have, we have a Quip. Quip electric toothbrush. Quip taking over the whole bathroom. My whole bathroom is basically sponsored by Quip. I got the Quip toothbrush. I got the gum. I got the uh, the the floss thing. I got a travel case. I threw out my. Uh, I, it's probably not used for this, but I have like a whole travel case now from Quip, and I threw out my old toiletry bag because I use this one because it has a nice little thing for my. Uh, toothbrush but the toothbrush is great it's an electric toothbrush that vibrates for two minutes and it pulsates every 30 seconds so you know when to switch sides get a nice brush going it's my favorite toothbrush i've ever had in my life also it's not like insanely shaky to the point where you put uh toothpaste on it and it's all over the mirror or anything like that like it's very nice um and like i said they have toothpaste they have uh gum they have floss they have everything you really need. You buy, you go on the site, you buy the package. I'm telling you, it's worth it. And the best part about it is that every three months, um, you get uh, new brush heads. So it's like getting a new toothbrush, basically. So you just get the brush head, you pop it back on, you got it, you're good to go. Um, also, floss, toothpaste, mouthwash. Every three months, they'll send it to you uh, for five dollars, um, and the shipping is free. Um, so you could save money and skip the hustle and bustle over the in-store shopping. You know what I mean? And uh, right now. You can start getting rewards for brushing your teeth today. Uh, join over the 5 million mouths who use Quip at uh, getquip.com slash basement right now to save $10 on a Quip smart electric toothbrush. That's $10 off a smart electric toothbrush at getquip.com slash basement, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash basement. Go get it. Brush your mouth. Brush your face. All right? Brush your tongue. Apparently, people are doing that. You ever brush your tongue? Uh, we went over. We this. went over this. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Not I mean, enough. I've never. I, I did it the other day because we talked about it, and I gagged really hard, and I was like, "Why am I doing yeah. this?" I, like, I, I'm, I again, strong gag reflex, but like, I, it's just the thought of doing it. Just hey. All right, I'm gonna try. I really don't like sticking my fingers in my mouth, but whatever. We try this every couple weeks, so I've never. I don't do this. You do it. Oh, you I can do. get your fucking whole hand in there. What's up? I'm scared. You got right. it. <clears throat> <laughs> See, I'm not. <laughs> That's it. How far? I, you know, how far in did you get? Turn get side. Turn sideways and do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm. It's pathetic. It's kind of sad. <laughs> You're a grown man. You should be able uh, to take down your finger, Joe. How does that come with men, man, yeah. age? What did I say? <laughs> You barely got to like you got to like right there. Once I get to the back, my throat just starts going. Yeah, like, it, it's mental. It's got to be all mental oh, too. Of course. If you were sleeping and I did that, you'd get, probably get a little more down. I go right to the papers <laughs> and to the police. I go down to the station if you did that. All right, that was what you're. Oh. Well, well, 
We discovered something new about Frank. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot uh, easier than I thought it would be. It's like, we'll see. Done. Listen, I've never in my life like ever had like a gay moment where I felt like attracted to someone of the same sex. Oh, I've had so many. But I would be a catch. Did I ever tell you? Except for my butt. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's true. My butt sucks. <laughs> His hiney is whack. My hiney sucks. Um, did I ever tell you about the the attractive waiter in Miami? No. Were you like attracted? Oh God, dude, it was so funny. So like we we uh, we I'm went like to so this place. Fuck, I want to know more. It's so fucking funny. Uh, but we went to this restaurant um, in Miami, and we were having dinner. And this waiter walks by. He's built like Gaston. Like, well, no. just wide back, small waist, very well groomed, and like uh, good. Uh, uh. Just minus you know like the like rapey vibes that people get from Gaston. Was he raping? Hey, he was not a very nice person. I, I don't really remember Gaston. I'll be honest. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, so I was like, damn, that dude's fucking probably crushing it. You know what I mean? And then, um, so we were just like making jokes about that. And all of a sudden he comes over to our table, bro. It was so funny because he, we like ordered already. And then we had just like finished the conversation of like, yo, this guy's fucking probably like blah, blah, blah. He comes over and he puts a pizza that we didn't order on the table. And we all were trying to say, like, oh, we didn't order that. He knows what he's doing. Well, like, we tried to say that we didn't order that because we ordered a different kind of pizza. (laughs) But everyone was, like, fumbling on the words, like, oh, we didn't, we don't, oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) And they're like, oh, we didn't order this. And he's like, oh, okay, no problem. And then he, like, took it (laughs) to the back. And then I was like, are we all nervous right now? You guys, you had a gay moment. (laughs) It was so funny. You definitely had one. Place had good pizza, too. I don't remember what it was called. What was better, the pizza or the sausage? No, we always talk about it. It was so fucking funny. That is funny. Yeah, no, no. Do you remember uh, a couple years ago that Beauty and the Beast movie came out? Uh, With um, With the the live-action Beauty and the Beast movie. The Ariana Grande soundtrack thing? I guess. The one with uh, Hermione and uh, Gaston. And Josh Gad is LeFou. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. LeFou. LeFou, that's his name. But the reason I brought that up is because in that the director of that movie was like, we're putting gay characters in our movies now. This character has an exclusively gay moment. In like an interview, they were like, yeah, he's gay. He has a gay moment. And in the, gay, like, in the moment, it was him like smiling at a guy. And they were like, he's gay. <laughs> it was so fucking stupid. Wait, is it like the clock or something? No, LeFou is like Gaston's like boy. Oh, oh, oh! Like his like guy, like the one, like the guy that's like hanging with him. So you just say you don't like Gaston, but he's got a gay in his crew. It's pretty progressive. I mean, you know, but he is a little, little you know, he's aggressive a little bit. He says too much. Like you're going to marry me, and you're like, well, free will. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. Like, this I'm gonna go with the monster that just kidnapped me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a whack Gaston is, bro. Someone was. Kidnapped by a beast. Yeah. What's that? What's the thing that they call where it's like the Stockholm kid- syndrome? Stockholm. This girl was like, "Yo, like I'm good with the person that just like try to murder me, not yeah. the person that if so, they like chill out a little bit might yeah. learn to be a, not a piece of shit." I know you have a great body and all the women in the town love you, but I'm gonna marry the bear. <laughs> yeah, basically, the dancing bear. Yeah. That the guy that has hates. fangs. Yeah. I'm going him. You know, he's probably killed a couple of peeps. I think once you heard like no he's one rich- fights like Gaston, no one fucks like Gaston. It's like, hey man. It's like yeah, take we it get easy. it. I've met a guy like you before. Yeah. Everyone can do the things that you do. Right. You know, especially the guy that probably has a f- f- fat fat cock. Who the beast? The beast. And he's super rich. He's got a castle. Yo. You can't be poor with a castle. I tried. Way too. <laughs> Way too big of a dinner table, that guy. Oh, well. If, listen, if I can ask you for anything in my life. Yeah. When you own a mansion. Right. Please get a big dinner table that, like, it a will be one? like, it'll be like, I have to squint to see what you're eating. I, the only. Th- I'm not saying super long, but, like, at least 30 feet. That's long. 20. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least 20 feet. That's also very long, I think. That's not that bad. I'm not a big judge of... I'm awful at it, too. Yeah, I but. don't know how big that is. I would love to have a big dinner table and then just have, like, my wife sit on the other side and, like, there's, like, flowers in the middle. How you doing, honey? Yeah. How's the salmon? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Here, put your arms out. Full stretch. So that's that's about 12 feet. 
So imagine another one of us. That's basically 20 feet. That's a long table. That's a big old table. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we can do that. I think we can. You're going to have to have a big dining room. I mean, it's your house, so it will be big. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, all right. Anyway, we're going to end this episode by talking about... Uh, no, we're oh, not gonna talk, no. no, we're not. We're, not. we're going to talk about the Met Gala. Met Gala. So there's a lot. The Met Gala, for those who don't know, it's the one day a year that celebrities, only one that they do this, only one time, everyone yeah, yeah, likes, yeah, yeah. Um, that they go out and dress like a bunch of fucking assholes. Yeah, they and never do it any other. Basically, the one day a year where celebrities are like, let's all do what Gaga did from 2009 to 2014. Yeah. Um, and uh, some people look good. Some people, you're like, what are you doing? I don't. I gotta be honest with you. Spoiler. I don't entirely understand the Met Gala. Is it a fashion show? Is it a party? Is I think, it a show? I think the Do Met they watch a movie? Do they all get in there and they're like, yo, let's put on like fucking like Hocus Pocus? Yeah, let's all watch Mighty Ducks 2. Which <laughs> would make any party instantly better. Yeah. Dude, I was on when I was on the flight back from Arizona, I downloaded Mighty Ducks 2 mm -hmm. and Heavyweights. Sign your Easiest up. flight of my life. That's a good old flight. Yeah. I suggest doing that. But anyway, um, yeah, so the Met Gala, I think it's just like a... <clears throat> Bless. Why did you sneeze like a Shakespearean actor? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, think it's, I think it's like a charity event or something. For who? Uh, kids dying somewhere. Some kids. <laughs> it's like know. those things where it's like for 39 cents a day. No, I don't know. Oh, it was way more. I heard that it's like 30 grand to get in. Where are you going? You can go. It's in New York, isn't it? Did you have to be invited? Bro, you're going to tell me if you... I also would not pay $30,000 to fucking go to this. Joey. Not yet. <laughs> Joey. No, I would only go if I like knew a bunch of people. Joey. If I was like cool with Rihanna, I'd go. If fucking... If you're... You're going to... Hold on. Hold on. I'm put. All right, guys. First of all, no, I would not spend $30,000 on the ticket. If no. your fucking agent called you and was like, yo, we can get you and a plus one into the Met Gala. Yeah. You would be sitting at a table with Harry Styles, Ariana Grande. Who else do the kids like? I don't know. Uh, Dua Lipa's. You will, you're going to tell me that you wouldn't fucking go? I would not pay $30,000. Joey. No. That would just be an insane amount of money. Joey! What? You're going to tell me you wouldn't go? <laughs> no. You fucking liar! For 30 grand? Bro, yes you would. To do what? I know you would. You went... Joey, do you know where you went last week? Or two weeks ago? You went to watch a tennis match. People go to the US Open. People that have money go to the US Open. Frankie. Do you think us normies go? You're talking about $140 and you're talking about... Thirty thousand dollars, bro. Look, look at a U.S. Open match, and there's only rich people there. There's no fucking normal people That's there. That's because you only see the people who are sitting courtside nope, that obviously nope, have billions nope, of dollars. Nope, nope. You're gonna. If it's you, rowdy up there, Joey. I, if you're gonna fucking tell me, you went to a secret underground restaurant the other week. It was above ground, <laughs> wherever it was. <laughs> You're gonna tell me you wouldn't go to this? You're a fucking liar. But onward and upward, keep going. If it was like five thousand, I would do it. You're crazy. I think you would definitely go for thirty thousand. Uh, no way. And if you if you think that Rihanna is paying to get into this event, you're out of your fucking mind. There's no shot that these tickets cost a damn thing. Well, I think that it's just like a. Cha it's like the the money from it goes to a charity. It's not like they're paying to go. They're paying because it's like a thing. I don't think it makes it's... them feel better about. Whatever yeah, they're what they're going to do. Uh, so some of the also, outfits. Also, probably some of the people who are like the outfits, they pay for the tickets as well. So like. So yeah. this is ridiculous. All right. So the first one we have here is ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. ASAP Rocky looks like one of the best cereals in the entire world. Oh, Captain Crunch that Berries. Is a Captain Crunch Berry boy. He looks very cozy. I will say. He also looks like he stole that quilt from fucking grandma's. That does look like the roof from Hansel and Gretel. I Nothing. Will say that. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I would check in with the Berenstein Bears because he got that from one of them. And are they okay? Yeah, I don't know. Um, and Rihanna looks very comfy. She honestly just looks like she. This is what my dog does when I try to change the sheets to my bed. Like as soon as they come off the corners, he just gets in the middle and wraps himself she up. She looks like she was like, "Yo, like I'm only going eh, if I can just wrap a blanket eh, around me." And go. That's Rihanna. That's how Rihanna talks. <laughs> if I could just wrap a blanket around hey. me and be as fucking comfortable as possible. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Was that Rihanna? I don't know. Hey. 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 
Uh, now I don't know I don't what know. song you were just singing. But Whatever. that's what... This is not that bad. I mean, ASAP Rocky, what are you doing? No, now? I mean, I don't think this is that bad considering there's some hitters here. Um, but the- ASAP Rocky, bro... I you know I think it's I think it's cool that they both went comfy. Yeah, I mean I mean it looks like he has something underneath it. Yeah, I feel like there's a surprise underneath there. There's got to be. He's got to be if he's not butt naked under there, he's doing it all wrong. Well, he's going to eventually have to open that up. It's also very hot in New York. Are these people not sweating? I mean, they're going into a probably very well conditioned room. That's fair. I don't think that they're you know if they're paying $30,000 to get in, they better get in and be as comfy as they want. Yeah. And I can almost guarantee that the people that wear these things go in and then instantly change. Probably. And I think you just kind of sit around, you get drunk with celebrities, and you take selfies with, like, the elite and just kind of hang out. That's got to be, like, like, equal parts fun, equal parts miserable. No, I think it's mad fun. Bro, I would have a blast at this thing. That's why you would go. Not for 30 grand. You would go for 30 grand. Maybe in two years I would go for 30 grand. Maybe in two months you'd go. I might go. All right, next. (laughs) (laughs) This is Kim Kardashian. This. She went as a Dementor. Yes. (laughs) She went as a oh! yeah. She looks like a shadow. Yeah, what is she doing? Oh, God. it's a melting silhouette. Oh, like she's a silhouette of herself. Honestly, that's kind of cool though. Like, I get that. What's the head part? That's like very Star Warsy. I get. Yeah, she's like she looks like a twi a twilek a twi a twilek for all my Star Wars fans out there. It, you know, like this is one of the ones. Oh yeah. my God, is that hair? Ridiculous! If that that's not that can't be real. No, obviously not. That's no. horse hair. Yeah, it's a horse hair. Um, to go with that fucking wagon she's pulling. Oh my god, dude! That's a horse drawn cow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this like yes, this is ridiculous. The face part doesn't need to be covered. I like it. But like I, I get I that is the one that makes the most sense. Like I could see that and be like, oh, she's like a fucking shadow of herself or something. Like no, nah, I think that it was just very different. She's like, I'm gonna wear this whole thing again, though. Very sweaty. How did people know it was her? Are they just like, yo, Kim's coming? I think the butt. I mean, anyone could stuff a butt. I mean, I think I would know. I could stuff a butt to make it look like that. I'm <laughs> saying if this is not, if it turns out this was not Kim Kardashian. People, it's going to be incredible. That would be cool. People are just like, oh, yeah, it was me. I carried a ladder and got into the event. Yeah. I dress as a shadow. But this is this is way better than ASAP and Rihanna. I'll, I I'll feel like that. I'd be able to, if you like plan this well enough, to wear this next year, but just pull up in a limo and have like security guards say, go back, 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 back. And I just walk through the event. And I'll just be like, I'm Kim Kardashian. Or not Kim. Yeah, I just... Pick a person. I would not. I'll tell you the way that I look, my body right now. I they would instantly know I wasn't Kim Kardashian. Yeah, they know I wasn't her either. <laughs> no, but like, I'd be like, who's that fucking gross fucking melting pot bitch? <laughs> be like, it's me, Frank Alvarez. I'm the co-host of the basement yard. I'm the co-host of the basement yard. Uh, okay, next. This is your boy. Why is this my boy? I don't know. I Dan Levy. Dan Levy Levi. I don't know, but. That's a gay map? Is that a gay map? A g- map? I mean, I, I have always considered maps to be very gay. Um, wh- <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. So I think that's two men kissing with like, I think that's like, that's got to be like... Uh, that's got to be, that's the US. The bottom is the US and they're kissing in Canada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Two men kissing in the northern hem- hemisphere. Yep. Which makes it cold. Yeah, that's got to be a little bit of a frigid kiss, but well, but where it gets hot is where it's hotter, so that makes sense. Well, his dick's all wet. It's a, the ocean down there. I guess. This is so fucking stupid. This is a lot. This is like a parachute, sort of. Very frayed. Can uh, I, Can I? like, who saw, uh, like, and was like, I know what you should wear. Yeah. Uh, what's the message here? Did you pull up, like, what the messages are? Yeah, those boots suck. The boots, the boots are out of control. The boots are a little out of control. I'm, I'm big on pomp and flash in my outfits. You guys know me. I mean, not right now because I, I had to work before this, but like, I love me a Hawaiian. This is... That's pomp and flash? A Hawaiian shirt? Yes. It's like purple Be and orange. Be a bigger and, piece of shit. I've been wearing Hawaiian shirts since before everyone else was, Joey, so fuck off. Not the Hawaiians. He's got a point. Idiot. He's got... And not retired cops. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is a, a bit much. I don't know if I could pull off those kinds of sleeves. It's a lot for me, to be honest. This, this is very hot. Like, I, I do like the kissing map men. I would say his face looks great. 
That's yeah. a good looking guy. It's a good looking guy. That's a really good looking dude. Great hair. Good for you. I've never seen that show. I mean, I, I tried watching the first episode. I couldn't like Shit's Creek. Yeah, I've watched a couple episodes. It's pretty funny. I I, I enjoy it's everyone. Very culty. Not the show, but like the people who the, watch it. Yeah, the fan base that yeah. I get. I like Eugene. I like his dad. I like Catherine O'Hara. Big Eugene. I like Chris guy. Elliott. Yeah, everyone in that show is kind of pretty. Not good. bad. Um, but but yeah. The, yeah, this is annoying. This is not the one for me. So, what would be the one that you? What would be your outfit? So far. Yeah, what would you wear? I'd wear the Kim one. Easy. Um, I'll probably go ASAP. Really? Yeah, I like I like having big quilts on me. It'd get you hungry, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next. We have... <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay. Indiana Boneser. <laughs> I didn't even look at the hat. Yeah, fucking uh, Jennifer Lopez with one of the strongest legs I've ever seen in my life. That's a strong leg. That is a quad that will hurt someone. You know what I did see? You know who that is in the background? Never would have been able to tell? Haley Steinfeld. Oh, her? Bro, that does not look like her at all. Well, forget about Haley Steinfeld. We got gotcha. front and center Jennifer Lopez, you piece of shit. She always... I feel like she's worn like this dress before. She looks like... She looks, uh, like, uh, she looks like the new villain in the new to like Tomb Raider game. Yeah, or just she like, shows up, but she's like, "Where is the tomb?" She's French. I was gonna say, "What is this? Like evil French people?" She is French. Um, no, this just looks like uh, like the Mummy Returns kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hasak Hamnun. What do they call her in that movie? Who? The female mummy. Oh, dude, what the fuck? You think I remember that? I would hope so. It's like 1999. Don't bring up the reference if you can't complete it. I'm just saying. Yeah, this looks like that choker, by the way. That's, that's... I kind of like that. You're into it? I would play like some, like, some symbols. I mean, it? you just pulled this up because it's J-Lo. I did. You're a big J-Lo guy. I am. She's got, I mean, this is a pretty, a, a flowy dress with a leg out. This is a J-Lo staple. This is a J, yeah, you got to show off those legs. Okay. Where's Ben? She's, I don't see Ben. Well, he's probably just wearing a suit or a t-shirt or something. I would hope so, because Piece if he showed up shit. in like a fucking, like if he showed up in the same dress, that now would be. Now we're talking. That'd be kind of cool. That honestly might be the move for one of these shows. Like if I'm ever like just super match. famous. And just like wear like a like a dress like that with my with my leg out. That would be good. I would have to do a way more like leg see, presses. Uh, it was like ninety nine or something. The creators of South Park showed up to a in dresses, and, and like they tried asking them about it. They're like, "It's a great night." They just didn't. They, yeah. they were like so high on like I think they like dropped acid or something. That's great. And they were like, "So what do you wear?" And they're like, "We're really excited to be here." And they just, just avoided wouldn't, all wouldn't talk about. It. I love that. All right, next. Oh, this is actually the VMAs. This is Doja Cat, and she's sporting a... She's brandishing a weapon. Oh, eh? oh wow. She... <laughs> she's fucking... She's got a knife! How did they let her in with the fucking... Get down! She's got a knife! She's got the dragon dagger. She's about to summon the dragon sword and Rita Repulsa. Horse dress, dragon dagger, mood ring, chair on the head. The, okay, From, let's go from the top down. Chair. Upside down chair. Why? I think it was supposed... I mean, obviously, she was like... You know, she has a sense of humor. She, is she like a lion tamer? Why is she dressed like this? I don't know why these things would go together. The dress looks great. I honestly think that people should have more weapons as, uh, as accessories. Uh, don't know about that one, dear Joe. What's her name? Elon Musk's wife. Uh, wife? I don't know. Whatever she is. Uh, had a fucking sword. That was an AK-47 melted down into a sword. I need to see this right now. It was a big sword. Who's I didn't know Elon Musk had a wife. Yeah, her name was like her name's like you're gonna laugh. Grimes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Elon Musk wife? Ta Tallulah. Her name is Tallulah, Joe. No, I don't think that's her. Oh, this is her. She's young too. She's definitely she looks like she needs help. Oh, is this the one that like they named their kid like she can join? Yeah. <laughs> see the see the sword? Bro, what? Look at that sword. That is fucking awesome. Look at that fucking sword. That's a sharp sword. Get that away from her face. Yeah, that's very dangerous, actually. I'm gonna screenshot this so that Josh can uh put it into <laughs> Listen, the episode here. One thing I've learned about swords, don't put them in someone's face like that. You're gonna poke out an eye. Yeah, so she wore she she's this is stupid. Doja Cat Doja Cat looks good here though. Minus the I mean the chair is a bit much. The chair makes no sense. I need to know like because uh, all of the people that do this are like oh there's a political statement to them. What is this one? I think she was just fucking around. There's no way. It's a it's a chair. You know. This is dumb. Next. Shit. 
Chip? Do I have any more? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, Doja Cat again. VMAs. Uh, I think this is... This looks just like she's being eaten by a caterpillar or something. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's straight out of fucking Alice in Wonderland. Who is Doja Cat? She's a rapper. No, she's not. Yep. Not like this. Yeah, yeah. She looks like... You've definitely heard Doja Cat songs on the radio. Give me one. Can you kiss me more? <laughs> <laughs> well, how the fuck am I supposed to know what that was? Um... Bro, she looks like there was a, a Power Ranger villain that was just eyeballs. That's what she fucking looks like right now. I'm trying to find a Doja Cat song that you would know. This is really, really dumb. Like, none of these are even remotely cool. Oh, you you want to say so? Remember that song? Nope, bro. Come on, you fuck. Why how, is my phone How am I working? supposed to know this? Bro, Doja. You never listen to the radio in your car for bro, 15 hours a day. I, bro, you think I listen to the radio like a fucking... 90 year old man I listen to my own music I I've never to, heard this song I listen to Led Zeppelin never like a child song. you never heard that? that sounds like Cardi B yikes uh, but anyway <laughs> did I just offend, are the Cardi fans coming at me what are they called the Cardi card the card dealers the <laughs> card the car dealers what are they called I don't know dude uh, uh, the I don't know um, all right, and then lastly here, we have back to the Met Gala. This is a woman by the name of Kim Petrus. I, I don't, I'm not very familiar with her. She really went the horse route. Yes. This reminds me of like on Pit My Ride when <laughs> in the first episode, like in the beginning of the episode, the guy's like, well, you know, I kind of like horses. And then Exhibit's like, bet. <laughs> and then puts a horse face on it. Yeah. You like horses so much, we put the smell of horse shit in, in your, your trunk. trunk. Yeah. There's 10 oh! TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. It'd be like, I like video games. It's like, we put eight fucking Xboxes in your trunk. Yeah. Th- it's <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you talking uh, about? I like make. I, th- I, I saw one. I, I like remember. swimming. It's like, we put a pool back. I saw one. Like, I was like, I really like juices. And it's like, yo, we put a whole juice bar in your back seat. Fresh produce all the time. Yeah. And we're like, what? It's like, hey, man, chill out. I don't need that. I just need a car. Yeah, exactly. This. So they, she, like, she heard. First of all, who the fuck is this? She's a singer, I believe. So what does she sing? That I don't know. I'm not very familiar with her. <laughs> is she like... I think she does vocals on like EDM tracks. And oh, shit. so she's not a singer? No, she's a singer. It's not... You're, I'm sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You're not a singer if all you do is... You definitely are, dude. German singer. And songwriter. Oh, she's German. I gotta be careful what I say. What does that mean? Someone just called her the baguette bitch. Baguette, bitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not familiar with these Associated songs. Associated Acts, Charlie XCX, Lil Aaron, Jesse St. John, and Sophie. I know one of those people. Who? Charlie XCX. Oh, yeah, I've heard that name before, too. That's the one that was like, um, you know, uh, what was it? I crashed my car at the bridge. I went down to the bar. I thought that was like kind of pop. I like kind of pop. I like kind of pop. probably it. Yeah. That's definitely it. All right. Lastly here, we have Pete Davidson. Oh. My grandma has that jacket. Had. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you're right, you're right, dude. Is, when uh, you're right, you're fucking right. Honestly, this is not the worst. He is dressed exactly like Hillary Clinton. He's got pearls. Which is cool. That's not pearls. Oh, no, those are, those diamonds. are diamonds. Those are diamonds, daddy. Yeah. His legs are very Sid from Toy Story. I don't know. Like, this is not like... If someone was like, yo, you can wear whatever you want. He didn't pick this. Bro, this is how, literally how my grandma used to dress at funerals. Not her own. We had a different kind of... We had like a blue, <laughs> a blue dress on her. But like, this is how she would go to her funeral. For sure, for sure, for sure. We didn't put her in something this cool. No, 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 no. He also said that he, uh, someone asked him like what the inspiration was, and he said uh, a slutty nun, <laughs> which was hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't, and the, like the boots, I don't, I'm not a big fan of those like big ass, tall ass like boots. Yeah, I can't pull off those boots. But you don't really have a say. You don't have a say. It's like you, you go, the designer's like, yo, we're going to put you in this. No, that's not dope. true. That's not true. That's not true. I heard, um, <laughs> well, I think if you're. I heard Billie Eilish was like, y'all only wear this if like you never use fur ever again. And they were like, all right, deal. They're not going to follow that. They were like, oh, yeah, sure. Go wear this. Oh, she she made like a, she did like she a. She made like a blood pact. 
<laughs> Another what person that? I've never heard a song from, Billie Eilish. You've definitely heard. I've definitely not. Jesus. I. She's a great singer. I'm sure she is. It's her and her brother. Um, and he's very talented. Phineas. Too. He's yeah. the producer, right? Yeah, and he's a songwriter as well. Yeah, no. This I, this would be the like the other one that I would wear. By the way, Billie Eilish. Booby. That one. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I was like, anyway. where's where he going with this? No, no but uh, yeah, so Pete Davidson, I'd wear this. I'd wear a dress. Yeah, I'd wear a dress. You I know? mean, like, this looks kind of dope. Like, honestly, like, this, like we're going to be wearing this in a couple years, so people will be like, oh, my God, Pete Davidson was ahead of the curve. Um, yeah, I don't know how if I could, like, pull off a dress yet. I think the one I would wear the least was the chair. The chair would be tough to pull off, but that was a nice dress you had. It had horses on it. The, dr- the Yes. Oh, no, the, the butthole one. There's the one. No, where, that one. I, yeah, that one. I can't. That well, one, the, the horse dress. Actually, I'm not wearing a horse's face. I would wear a horse's face before I, I wore that fucking my face. That looks like what it looked like when I probably came out of my mother. <laughs> Just not smiling. Face first. Just. <laughs> oh my god, he's crowning. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just my face, like I'm coming. <laughs> oh my god, what a <laughs> maniac. Um, but yeah, man, that's the, that's the, that all sucked. I can't the, wait till we go, until we go next year. Yeah. If you do go, I tweeted, I was like, I'm going to shit on the Met Gala every single year until, until I'm invi- go until I'm invited. And then I'm just going to be fire. I will. If you get invited, just promise to bring me and I will wear whatever you want me to wear. Dude, are you kidding me? If I get like a fringe invite, I'm going to go fucking ape shit there. Like nope. I'm going to be like, yo, I don't even know. I just, just blood, <laughs> just cover me in blood. <laughs> Just cover me in blood and, and like paint. I'll be full, or like I'll be dressed as a penguin. I'll be something. full naked with just something all over my cock and balls. Something like like I don't know what it is. You could pick. It could be a fucking peanut it, butter. It, yeah, it could be a jiffy jar. It's a message about the peanut. Big peanut is controlling your mind. Oh, your cocks. <laughs> it's controlling your penises. Yeah, or like just like wear like thirty condoms. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, no. Can't wait to go. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time, but until then, fuck the Met Gala. Right. And until then, we're going to make fun of it. 100%. But, you know, it is what it is. Frank, where can they find you? FAlvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. Go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You sign up. You get the weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on the jokes and the conversation early. And you get to that next tier. You get exclusive content. And that is exclusive episodes every single Friday at 7 a.m. You start the week off great. You end the week off great. Go do it at Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yes, and you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. We'll see you guys next time. Later. (laughs) That's all I got.